formation people and keep alert. This sector's supposed to be crawling with Vakar fighters. KC, anything on the scanners? Never mind. You got five Krakow class interceptors coming in hot and heavy, Case. Pod hit some debris. You got hit pretty bad, but the med techs are trying to fix you up with life support and artificial senses. You just hang in there, Case, and you'll be okay. Audio link is activated. Cutting in visual in three, two, one. Switch on neural interface. You got it. Casey? It's Airy. Hi. Uh... Look. Your mind has been placed in a cerebral support mechanism. It's a device that when... She's trying to say you're a brain in a box, Case. Zach, could you let me handle this, please? Uh, oh. Like, it's kind of hard to explain. Here. Why don't I let you take a look at yourself? Now, you may not look the same on the outside, but I know it's you on the inside. And we need to know if you can respond. If you can, use the virtual interface in front of you to transmit a yes. <laughs> Glad to see you still got your sense of humor. Hey, Case, you probably haven't heard, but uh, the war is over. We flame their butts at Exeter 3. Bakar lost a third of their fleet. They went running with their tails between their legs straight to the Taladarans, practically begged them to negotiate a peace treaty. You know, of course, that put us out of a job, but, you know, hey, war is hell, right? So right now you're aboard the Artemis, finest salvage vessel in the sector. Zack and I cobbled her together from a couple of surplus alliance transports. Oh, 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 not to mention the engines that we sort of borrowed from an Orion-class destroyer. May not look like much on the outside, but she could tug terra firma right out of orbit. Well, we thought we'd help salvage some of the Vekar ships we helped disable. At the very least we could do. The way we see it, there's a lot of uh, very tasty salvage just floating around out there, right for the picking. And we figure you'd be interested in joining us. So, we liberated you from the lab. Yeah. <laughs> Zach wired your interface into the ship systems. Good to have you back, Casey. So what do you say, guys? Let's do some hunting.
Opening probe bay doors now. Casey, I gotta ask you. What does it feel like having your eyes and ears floating around in a little ball while the rest of you is back here with us? Knock it off, Zach. No, I'm just asking Casey a question. <sighs> okay, Casey. Your guidance system's pretty much automatic, so you can concentrate on the job. Most other functions are up to you. Whoa, 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 whoa! Close call there, buddy. Collision avoidance seems to be working. All right, let's try your computer link, see how it works. Why don't you run uh, an ID check on this pile of junk, see if you can get the name of the ship, and maybe get some idea of what the cargo might have been. Okay, you're coming up on some cargo door controls. Right there, Case. All right, now try using your laser torch, upper right-hand switch. Should pump enough juice into the system, pop that door wide open. Be careful, Casey. Vakar have been known to booby-trap their hulks. Nice job, Casey. Hmm, dark in there. Better kick in the floodlight. Whoa! God, those things are ugly. Why, Zach? I always thought you found aliens quite... attractive. Hey, 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 hey. I was drunk that night, you know that. And besides, it swore to me that it was female. <laughs> Casey, stop there. Let's get a good look around this place. What's that? Yeah, Casey, can you grab that floating object? Good. Now run an analysis on it. We got a nice souvenir. No way. It's a Vakar war medal, Zach. Belongs with their dead. May as well come on in, Casey. It's just not our day. This whole 
sector is picked clean, we need to go further out. I agree. But where? The Magellan Cluster? Sirius? LV-426? Oh, not there. You know what I was thinking about? Remember that time we surprised the hell out of that wing of that car cruiser just asleep at the wheel? Yeah, Mizar system, right? Yeah. Man, I never saw so many ejection pods in my life. Wait, you want to go back to Mizar? Why not? Uh, Harry, I doubt anybody's been out there since the war. No, it's too close to the Vakar border. We'd be violating the Taladaran Treaty. So? Who's gonna know? Doesn't sound like such a good idea to me, Zach. Come on, Harry. What are you afraid of? We don't have to go by the book anymore. Welcome home, dear. Oh, Casey, you're back. Look, I say we take a vote. Who's for going to Mizar? Oh, come on, Aerie. It's not like it's in Vakar space. It's a buffer zone. Nobody even patrols out there. You know, there's gonna be some tasty salvage. Yeah? Ah, oh, I don't know why I let you talk me into these things. Oh, maybe you let me talk you into something else with it. I heard that. I know, you were supposed to. Hey, uh, Case, what do you say? Mizar? Okay then, my turn it is. We got a nice clear terminus. 190 million clicks off the stellar midpoint. Let's do it. Said. Let's run some instrument checks. Let's see what kind of damage we sustained. Harry, scanners only pick up metal and rock. This this thing must be made of something else. Ah, uh, shit. Every one of our drive systems is down, even thrusters. Oh, great. Great, so we're dead in the... <sighs> uh, Want to hear the good news or the bad news? Uh, good news? There is none. The bad news is... This thing's hurtling straight for the sun's corona. It's taken us with it. And there's no way to get clear without our thrusters. Do we still have short-range communications? Yeah, yeah. Send a distress call. To who? What, you think this thing is a ship? Zach, I don't know, but maybe whoever or whatever's on board can help us. Yeah, they're not too torqued at you for bashing in their front door. Zach, just do it! All right, sending distress signal. 
Casey, why don't you run an ID check? See if there's any known ship with configuration like that. Oh, here's a big surprise. Unknown. Any response to our distress call? Zip, dead air. So, either we figure out how to alter our course... Or we're toast. In about four hours. Great. This is great. Casey, better activate your probe. Let's see what we're dealing with out there. Opening probe bay doors now. Be careful, Casey. Alloy or secreted material? I mean, did they, did they build this stuff or grow it? This is a complete unknown, Eric. Galaxy's full of unknowns, my young son. I mean, look, they didn't even discover the Titan rock dwellers till four years ago, and that was in our own system. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember hearing that. Uh, the miners sunk a shaft right into the main colony. Practically wiped out the whole race before that exolinguist established communications. Yeah, well, let's be careful because you're no exolinguist. Hey, hey, I happen to speak 27 languages. Yeah, three phrases. More beer, where's the head, and if you want to come by and see me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a minute, what's that? I don't know, meteor hit? I don't think so. Hold your position, Casey. Zach and I are joining you. What, what, we are? You got a better idea? We don't have much of a choice. All right, let's suit up. Casey, I'm gonna check my headset cam now. Here's mine, Case. Stand by, we're on our way, Casey. like the 
the old days, isn't it? I was kind of hoping the old days were over. Oh, come on. Tell me, tell me you don't find this stuff exciting anymore. The only thing that excites me is staying alive. Of course. They must have evacuated this section. We got blown out when it decompressed. We can't see much, Casey. Drop inside and throw some more light around there. Yeah, you 
ugly son of a bitch, ain't he? That's the reason for the hole in the other room. What? Ship's been invaded by Kryn. Wait, wait, wait. Kryn, aren't they the... Yeah, kind of like piranhas. Could be thousands of them in here. Oh, that's great. Whoa, whoa, what's that? Built-in flashlight? I don't know. Casey opened the door with light pulses. Maybe it's one of the ways they communicate. It's dead. Harry, this stuff is harder than a drill sergeant's head. Kryn can do this. Oh, these things are armor-plated. got pretty hairy around here before the end. Well, Admiral Hardwick always said the most terrifying thing he ever saw was a full-scale Kryn attack. Old man Hardwick actually talked to you? Actually, we got along quite well. Yeah, I bet. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, I'd say so. Let's try opening this thing. Oh, oh we're not getting through here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I bet Casey can make it through. I bet you're right. Go ahead, Casey, see if you can make it through. Get out of here. Might be 
worth something. Guess we better try another one of these doors. Yeah. Hey, Casey, let's try this one. Casey was the only one that could open these. I don't know. Maybe those other doors needed Casey to override the locking mechanism because of decompression. Tell me they don't have the technology to build a simple laser? No, I'm saying maybe they chose not to. Maybe they're a peaceful race. Yeah, well, they're real peaceful now. Look up ahead. Yeah, another door. Yeah, but this one is different. You think this would uh, keep those crayon out? I don't know, maybe. But we're not staying here to find out. Gotta steer this thing away from the star, remember? Yeah, I remember. Hey, these symbols over the doors might tell us what's on the other side. Let's check this out. with anything here all these doors are sealed we need your help to open them let's start with the one to the left of the door we came in
right, Casey. Stay left, Zach. Yeah, you know what? I just noticed something. You give an awful lot of orders for a civilian. I do outrank you. No, no, you did outrank me, and the only reason you did was because you were a lot better at kissing ass than I was. Oh, everything I got, I earned the hard way. Just because you kept getting busted for insubordination. Oh, hey, hey, I know what you're talking about, okay? You know that wasn't my fault. Oh, the hell it wasn't. You went out of your way to disobey the orders. You never could accept rank and authority. But the lady, let me explain something to you, okay? If I take an order from you, it's because I choose to. Got it? Where the hell are you going? What is she pissed at you too? feeling like the hair on the back of your neck wants to stand on it? Yeah. Kind of like we just walked into an intense electromagnetic field. Yeah. Harry, wait, wait a minute. This looks familiar. Look. Generator, power conduits, emergency cooling. This, this has got to be an engine. Right? My, my, my. You just may be right this time. You know, you don't have to act so surprised. I am. Okay, let's split up and look around. Casey, okay, so you take the left corridor.
getting too old for this shit. Hey, Casey. Remember right after basic? We were dying to get into a real war. We weren't even ready. I guess nobody is. Combat changes, people. Zach got crazier. I just got tougher. I had to keep him alive. But not you, Case. Nah. <sighs> you never changed. We knew we could depend on you. You're always there for us. Straight and steady. But now you've changed, too. <sighs> Is it still you in there, Casey? Still feel <laughs> sure would be nice to hear your voice again. I think the medtechs were working on a speech interpolation system when, when we pulled you from the lab. I'm sorry we were in such a hurry. You know, when we get out of this thing, I'm gonna find you somebody that can somebody that can build your voice. That's a promise. See if you can figure this thing out. You check over there. Once you keep working on this, it might help. Listen, I think we've done enough looking around here, don't you? Yeah. Okay, let's meet up and move out. Wait, wait, wait. You hear that? It's coming from the bodies.
Can you hear me? Come on, Kate's with me there. Oh, gotcha. Case, we thought we lost you there for a minute. Yeah, Zach and I had to carry you back here. Yeah, speaking of which, next time they build one of you guys, they should really include some handles. Well, looks like everything's up and running again. It's a good thing, too, because we need you to open another door. Go to it, Case. This ship isn't that big. It's gotta be a projection. Or an illusion. Hey, hey, wait. Maybe that... Maybe that energy field we went through before somehow, you know, transported us to the home world. Transported? Yeah. <laughs> You've been watching too many old Star Trek reruns. Air. If there's even a breeze. This is an illusion. It's pretty damn convincing. There. It is real. See?
You idiot! Harry. Harry. You stupid idiot! Harry, would you... Cut me a break, okay? This is not the time. I don't leave you hanging there just for being so damn stupid. Harry, come on. job. Right. Right. Besides, we've always been a pretty good team, haven't we? Yeah, the best. The best. say, right? Uh, this wasn't the first time you saved my ass, and the way things are looking, it's probably not going to be the last, right? So, uh, I, you know, I just wanted to say that I'm, I'm glad, you know, uh, I'm, I'm glad that we're partners, is what I mean. I'm, I'm glad that I know you. That... Uh, we still have to take a look around here. I think you can manage that. Yeah, yeah, I can manage that. Uh, but remember, this time... I know, I know, I know. Be careful. Thanks, Mom.
it's important. Maybe symbolic. Maybe valuable. Better hold on to it. You never know. If we get out of this place, it may be worth something. Yeah, well, that was a great show, but let's try someplace else. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We should get going. gotta have a meaning. If we can just figure it out, we'd have the answers we need. Uh, you, you might as well try and figure out why a Ragosian mudhopper mates with itself. You ever stop to think that maybe some things just are? Some things don't have answers? No, because there are answers here and we're gonna find them before we run out of time. You got that? Gee, she's starting to sound more and more like old man Hardwick, isn't she? on these guys' uh, planet? They have little human beings the size of lobsters? Oh, Zach. Well, come on, you gotta admit, some of these guys would look pretty good on a bed of lettuce with a little lemon butter sauce. Have some respect for the dead. Why? They're, they're dead. What do we have here? Health spa? Barber shop? Nightclub. Hey, come on, Ari. This is—it looks like a band. Should I ask him to play our song? We don't have a song, Zach. Uh, there is a nav console and all this stuff. We'd have to tear this place apart to find it. Assuming we'll even know it when we see it. I think we should take a look around. All right. We'll go this way. Let us know if you spot anything, Casey.
things keep turning up. Well, add it to the collection. Jesus, what the hell are you doing? Who's gonna clean this up? Well, looks like Casey's figured out what this place is. Looks like a sick bay. Those have to be surgical instruments. Uh, well, do me a favor. If I ever need an operation, no matter how small, don't let Casey do it, okay? This is really strange. All this armor and nothing protecting the back of their heads. Uh -huh. Well, unless you're having better luck than I am, I think we should keep going. <sighs> no, I got nothing. Hey, Casey, if you're quite through playing doctor, we're ready to go, okay? So, uh, get your thrusters in gear. Okay, Casey, you're on point. I'll say one thing about those Kryn. They sure as hell do a thorough job. Think we'll ever find any of these guys alive? Well, I sure hope so. You know, it's times like this I wish I just stayed home and went to business school, just like Mama wanted. Yeah, Zach, I could just picture you crunching numbers for a living. Whoa, whoa, it just so happens I have a pretty good head for figures. Give me figures from account, Zach. Okay, Casey, time to try another one. Yeah, but for what? Food supply, oxygen supply? 
Maybe both. Maybe neither. Mary. No, no, no! Oh, damn, Quinn screwed up the door. Hey, Casey, why don't you see if there's another way around this thing? Maybe you can figure out a way to open it from the other side. What the hell was that with the gun pulling thing? I'm sorry. It's just a reflex. It's a reflex. Another one of the mysterious little orbs. They've gotta mean something. Yeah. They mean my bag is getting heavier all the time.
you did it. Oh, that was another dead end. Come on, Zack. We've been in bad before. Remember that time on Takao 7 when we were pinned down by two Vakar squads? Yeah, yeah. How can I forget? And his cold fighter down in a gully, Vakar picking us apart from the ridge. Right, and when we were ready to give up, Casey said, there's no such thing as a hopeless situation. Rigs the engine to create a plasma burst, and boom, took them all out. Yeah. Yeah, all right, maybe you're right. Enjoy it. Jeez, Ari, my dogs are aching, okay? Have you no sympathy? I'm saving my sympathy for you when you'll really need it. When you run out of things to complain about. Casey, see if you can figure out what these panels are for. Whoa, 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 Ari, Ari, that's... that's a long way down there. Be careful. Hey. 
No, don't, don't even. It'll never happen again. Well, Harry, never say never. <sighs> Let me paint a little picture for you, okay? You and me on Vega Prime. Six full moons, out on a boat, a little lake. Some of that bacon wine you like so much. Hell, two bottles. Nothing to do till morning. Come on. Tell me you could pass up an offer like that. With anyone else? No. What? No, wait. What the hell are you looking at? She's the only woman within nine parsecs. No, get away from you, bug. That just about does it then, huh? What are you talking about? In case you haven't noticed, Eric, we've done all six doors. We're fresh out of options. No, we can backtrack and find the things we missed the first time around. Well, we don't have time to go through this entire ship again. Get close to that sun, remember? <sighs> Might as well face it, Eric. This floating mausoleum is taking a plunge. Going along for the ride. Can't give up without a fight, Zach. You know what your problem is, Eric? You've never known when the fight is over. agreeing with me for once? Oh, boy. Somehow I always hoped I'd die in better company. Yeah, me too. Well, at least we got these.
what's happening. Casey, you're a genius. Oh, shit. Let's give it a shot. Oh. Hungry. Right. You want to try one? Sure, why not? slot on this thing? Last one. Want to do the honors, boss? Thanks. I think. Oh. Right, Casey, this was your idea. Now what?
get out of here. Or maybe not. Let's go, Casey. in here and rising. Oh, yes! We got a live one, Case. Go check him out. Harry, you see that? Yeah, could be our navigational console. Think this guy will mind if we hijack his ship? Let's see what Casey comes up with. He looks like he's studying some kind of readout. Boy, he's adjusting those light beams. I'll cover you. Wait, Zach, don't shoot it. It's unarmed. We gotta try and communicate. How? Come on, this thing isn't exactly happy to see us, Aerie. Casey, try to communicate with it. Lower your weapon, Zach. Show what we mean.
You got a live one, Case. Go check him out. Harry, you see that? Yeah, could be our navigational console. Think this guy will mind if we hijack his ship? Let's see what Casey comes up with. He looks like he's studying some kind of readout. Boy, he's adjusting those light beams. What's that thing in the center? I don't know, Harry, but things are starting to heat up around here. Look, we gotta do something. We gotta do something now. Shit, he sees us. All right, go for the nav consoles. I'll cover you. Wait, Zach, don't shoot it. It's unarmed. We gotta try and communicate. How? Come on, this thing isn't exactly happy to see us, Harry. Casey, try to communicate with it. Lower your weapons, Zach. Show it we mean no harm. Harry, it didn't work. Get to those consoles.